Hi folks, it's Rich here. We're talking about <laughs> this. So, uh, for those who don't know me, I'm just an amateur guitarist, novice guitarist, looking up, wondering whereabouts the camera is. Probably not even looking at you. Maybe I am now. Don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Hi. And um, so I've had a few amps. What have I had? I've had a Vox AV15, a sort of a hybrid valve amp, which was brilliant in lots of ways. Not a huge amount of functionality, but really good. I've had uh, Blackstar ID Core 10 and 20, V2 and V3. Loved those two. Lots of great tones, did good stuff. Um, a Fender Mustang LT25. I like the fruit preset, but it's a little display. There's not many uh, manual controls on that. Still a good amp for what it is, though. Uh, I recently tried a Marshall Code 25 and took a back straight away. It wasn't for me for a few different reasons. What else have I had? I'm sure about something else. Oh, the Fender Champion 20, which sounded a bit tinny and boxy. And all the time, I was thinking, you know, the Boss Katana is, is kind of the one. And I, I sort of didn't want to have one just because I wanted something different. And it's a bit of an uplifting cost. Although that said, the Marshall Co. 25 brand new is £185. The Blackstar uh, V3 20 watt ID Core, that's also £185. So you're getting close. These are 250 new. I just picked this one up secondhand for 175 limited home use it's like new it's absolutely immaculate um yeah and some of those other amps are still sort of about 120 130 sort of range so it is a bit of an uplift if you're on a budget or you're a, a beginner but boy I, I wish i should have just bought it i should have just bought it I, I mean i've literally not had it long i've just been having a play with it and it's totally reinvigorated my feeling towards my guitars you know i'm not a great player as those who watch my channel will know but um i do enjoy having a tinker it's just fabulous already, and I've barely even touched the sides with it. It's rich, it's deep, it's full sounding. The presets so far I like. The the crunch channel's a bit overdriven, but you can go, you know, if you're a tinkerer, there's loads of things you can do on it. So I'll set that to how I like it. I like the double button idea for the, the uh, modulation delay uh, options on there as well, and the boost, which are just just great so you've got plenty of just fiddle it with the knobs to get some different sounds which is perfect for me because i'm not an it fiddle around going to the software kind of guy uh, i've got it on, i've had it on five watt setting with the master volume three quarters of the way up just using the normal volume and yeah honestly if you're if you're if you're thinking about any of those other amps i just mentioned or you've got one already i'm thinking crikey the katana you know at 250 pounds in the uk for a new one is a bit of a you know, it's a jump up, isn't it, in, in cost. I would urge you on my immediate experience just to get one, honestly, just, just to get one. Or the Mark 1, I guess, it has slightly fewer functions, but I guess the Mark 1 is brilliant as well, I would think. Yeah, find find a used one for between 150 and 180 pounds, probably. Just get a good used one if you can't afford one, absolutely new. But my short experience is, whilst those other amps have been fine, this is just a, it's not just a bit of a jump up, this feels like a massive jump up in terms of sound quality and I guess with good reason that's why they're so popular isn't it so Boss Katana Mark 2 uh, I just yeah just yeah <laughs>